Hey everybody and thanks for tuning in. This is just a quick video. I know there are a lot of people for whom, you know, SD cards and micro SD cards and card readers aren't part of your daily lives. So this is just a real quick, this is this is what you're looking at when you want to update your Retron SD uh, micro SD card. So here's the back of the system. There is the micro SD. You have to press in on it to get it to eject. So push in and it'll come out and then you can pull it out the rest of the way. It's very hard to do things one-handed. I'm not very good and I'm, I'm, I'm a lefty. So bear with, uh, I'm not good with either hand to be honest, but I'm definitely not a righty. So there it is. That, that's, that's the micro SD. That's what it looks like. And that goes into the SD card reader that I have next to it, which I'm <laughs> going to try to do one handed again because I don't learn. So there we go. It, go. it goes in there. Yes. Yes. Success. It goes in that thing. And then that goes into the other thing right there, the USB uh, SD card reader, and that will go in your computer. Bear with, bear with, one hand, ah, arr. Frustration. So anyway, they're going to take this thing and put it in the back of your computer thing. One of your USB ports. I'll have to take mine out again because my, my computer doesn't like to read these things while the screen says it's a glitch. Don't worry about it. But it goes in a USB port on the back of your computer, the front of your computer, wherever you have a USB port. It goes in the USB port. It goes where it fits. Go to AtariH.com if you want to get the best, most recent build. Download the uh, R77 image you see here on the screen. And then next you're going to want to download this program. At least this is what I use called Etcher. Uh, it lets you uh, create that image on an SD card. So anyway, download that. And uh, once the image is downloaded, drag it to your desktop. Etcher works on Windows or Mac, so you're good either way. Just download the version that works for you. I'm on Mac. The problem with that is you can't see, you can't put ROMs on the SD card on a Mac, so you need some point to be on a Windows computer uh, to finish this out. But just making the image, you're, you're good to go uh, Mac or Windows. So running Etcher, first you select an image. So you're going to select the one you just downloaded from Atari Age. Uh, so go ahead and click Select Image. If you're like me, you have a huge mess on your desktop. There it is. All right, and then you're going to select the drive, which will be the flash drive you just inserted into your computer, the SD card. Be sure you select the right drive. You do not want to mess up your hard drive. And then you hit flash. And then it's just a matter of waiting. Once it's done, it's ready to go. Like I said, on a Mac, I can't show you how to put the uh, the ROMs on the SD card, but if you're on Windows, you just drag them into the, the game's ROMs directory, and you're good to go. On a Mac, you will have to take the SD card out and put it into something Windows to uh, put games in that ROMs directory. But this will update your Stella to 393, so you can, in fact, play Kool-Aid Man, and also fixes some of the, the vertical syncing issues and uh, fixes the dead joystick problem. So, anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, if it does, give me a, a like and a subscribe, and you guys have a good night. Have good gaming on your wonderful new Retron toy. I uh, hope you guys have a blast, and I hope this helped.